Yes. We're back and we're at the second annual Women of Cannabis Conference and we're so excited because I'm here with someone that is so important to this movement in Michigan, um, Amy Carter. Hello. Um, Amy is a lot of the reason why we have autism on the list of the approved conditions. So Amy, tell us a little bit about what this has been like for you, what you have going right now. Um, well, I, I currently have a nonprofit organization called More Than Hope, and I'm advocating uh, for parents to look into cannabis for autism. Uh, I started medicating my son about two and a half years ago, and it completely changed our life. I got the chills because, listen, listen, I had the opportunity to the honor to meet Amy's son, and um, I could cry. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, I know. Um, he is such a special and remarkable young man. Um, he even spoke at the event that we were at, and I thought, wow, you know, he's so brave, and he's how old? He's 12. 12 years old. What a wonderful little boy. Yeah, he's, he's really came a long way. Uh, when he was seven years old, he was put in a holding cell. Uh, he was very violent and aggressive, and he was in the hospital for over 125 days since he was five years old. Um, I had welts and bruises and ribs out of place. Uh, black eyes for um, a good five years. Uh, I struggled, and uh, between the juvenile detention center they wanted to send him to, and all the outpatient mental health for, hospitals, for a condition, for a medical condition that your little boy is suffering from. And how long has it been since he's had an outburst like that? Um, well, since you've been treating him. Since I've been treating him. Well, he went two years without any police encounters. That is amazing. Yes. Yes, and I will tell you we are struggling right now because I'm taking him off his last pharmaceutical, which is lithium. Oh. And it's it's been a difficult process. I bet. But it's something I have to do because I know that the cannabis oil is helping him so much. It it's been the best tool that I've ever found. Yes. I've already weaned him off of Abilify and Lamictal. Wow. So this is our very last one. Wow. Yes. That's impressive. So, and he was on a slew of medications. Yes. We have tried over 12 different medications. Jeez. And nothing has helped. No therapy, nothing has helped like cannabis oil. It's not a cure-all, but wow, it gives him the ability to cognitively use his toolbox yes. for his coping skills. It gives him the ability to be self-aware. He never yes. had self-awareness. He never had the empathy like he does now. He can verbally communicate and I can tell that his brain is working better. So it means this little pin that she has here is her autism uh, awareness uh, for the cannabis uh, movement. Um, I think it's brilliant. Uh, she has it. They're being sold here today to help fund, you know, your, yes, more than hope and have, you know, great things happen. So can you tell us, like, your, I want to get your social media out. Okay. Um, I have a more than hope page on, on Facebook. I do have a website, but it's currently being built. And then I'm also on YouTube. I actually have 39,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Awesome! Yes, I've built quite a platform. Good. And my main passion is helping to reform mental health care in Michigan Amen. for children. That's my main That is so great. We need that. We need that. We need that. So, um, your Instagram, uh, Facebook? What, what's, uh, what's mainly Instagram? Facebook okay. and YouTube. It's under More Than Hope. Okay. Or you can always find me. It's Amy Carter, A M I E Carter. Okay, yeah. great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you.